I study the physiology of marmots, Marmoto flavi ventris, which is the yellow-bellied marmot here in Colorado. In general, unless they're more melanistic, they've got the yellow belly. That's the key characteristic, particularly over in the San Juans and San Cristos, I've seen marmots that were almost pure black. And I've also seen albino marmots. But around the face and, and neck area, you can get all kinds of coloration and, and variations of coloration. It's the genetics of the breeding. We have a lot of marmots here because we have a, a good amount of high elevation territory for them. They have family groups where usually there's a dominant male and maybe he'll have two or three females on his territory. In general, males hibernate in a separate burrow from females, but the females will have their young from the previous year in the same burrow system with them. Babies will stay in a burrow for about three to four weeks. She'll start to wean and come above ground early to mid-June, and then their job is to get fat as fast as they possibly can. So if they don't get fat enough, they won't make it. They'll run out of fuel. You've got to get fat enough and big enough to be able to reproduce. Up here, it takes them usually three years before they are reproductively active and successful at raising young. Very high up, there is good evidence that the females, because of the very short growing season, reproduce every other year because they can't pull off young every year. It's just too difficult in terms of the energy demands. Typical cycle is that males will mate, defend territories in late April through May and early June. Then the, the territories sort of break down. Everybody begins to feed for the, in earnest for the winter. They want to hurry up, get fat, and get below ground so that they can avoid predation. Males tend to go into hibernation sooner than females, and young of the year are always the last ones to go into hibernation, particularly since they all have to fatten up. Generally, in, later in the year, you'll mostly find juveniles above ground. They can live as long as 22 years that we know of for sure. In general, they live between six to 10 years before they're either eaten or die of old age or, or perhaps uh, the burrow wasn't very good. 